<laughs> oh. All right, everybody, how's it going? Now then, what have I got? I got a battery. <laughs> and it's a 72 volt battery, but I got a problem. And this is the problem. And I'll point to the bike and I'll show you the problem. <laughs> Here is the bike. This is the problem. Because I bought a small frame, the smallest frame in this particular frame, there's not much room in there. I looked at dimensions of three different types of batteries. Um, triangle batteries wouldn't fit. Uh, a sort of normal shaped a battery, but it was 72 volts, wouldn't fit. And then I thought, what am I gonna do? A 52 volt battery would fit in there, but anything bigger doesn't fit. So what I've done is, and you're probably not gonna like it. <laughs> well, some people might like it. Some people might go, ah, that's rubbish, mate, that's rubbish. But what I've done is I've bought like the battery that's like a motorcycle tank type style. And I'm gonna have to fit it up here. Now, it might look a bit daft, so, if it does look daft, what I'm going to do is I'll fit it up here, I'll drill some holes, I'll fit it up on top, and if it looks stupid, I'll get a cheap backpack, and I'll put a backpack around there, so it looks like i got a backpack up on top of there, because I don't know what it's going to look like. If it looks okay, it'll be fine. If it doesn't, backpack. So remember that, right? <laughs> but I, I bought this bike without suspension on the back, so I could fit a big battery. But it's not big enough. It's not big enough. So anyway, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll get the battery out and I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do and where I'm going to put it. Right, okay then. So here's the battery and I'm going to put it on there like that. Now, I don't know if that looks daft or not. I, I don't know. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> but like I said, if it does look daft, I'm going to have to put a backpack around it or something. But, it, it, you know, I'll put three fixings on there, and hopefully that'll be okay. And the wire that came with it does go down. It does reach the battery, the uh, control, the motor. So I'm going to drill some holes and put this on. But what I've actually bought is the bike's going to fall over. So stay there, bike. Stay, stay, stay. Right, cut. Right, okay. As I was saying, I'm going to put it up there. And this battery is a 72 volt. Uh, fully charged is 84 volts. Uh, normal capacity, it says, is 20 amp hour. I don't know if I can show you that there, if it shows up on there. 72 volts, 20 amp hour. Uh, discharge cutoff voltage, 60 volts. And it does say, when I bought it, it said this battery has actually got a 60 amp BMS. So that should give me the 3,000 watts that I want for this motor. Okay then, so you can see now, I've put the battery up here. Now, what do you think? Does it look silly or does it look okay? What would you do? Put it down in the comment section if you think this looks ridiculous or if it's not too bad. If it looks too silly, I might get a, a slightly bigger frame and see if I can fit that down there. Like I said, this frame is a bit too small. So it looks, it does, you know, I've had to put it up there. It's a bit top heavy and it's not ideal but it works. Now, it is winter here in the UK, as January, and I did go out, I've been out on it, and <laughs> it's a bit wet, it's a bit muddy, right? And I haven't got a front mud guard on it yet. And so I did get up to speed a little bit, and mud was flying everywhere in my face, so. <laughs>
I abandoned that project, but if you want to see me go out, do a speed test, because I think on the little test I did, I think this is drawing about three and a half thousand watts. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> because it's super powerful. I can't pull the throttle back because it'll, it feels like it'll snap the chain or, I don't know, makes the bike twist a little bit. <laughs> So it's, it's crazy. This bike is crazy. Um, so I've got to take it easy on the throttle. You've got to sort of ease into it, if you know what I mean. But on the little test I did, I even tried up a hill. Bloody hell, it just went, it went straight up there, no messing about. And I wasn't in the lowest or the biggest gear. I was in the middle somewhere, whew, straight up there. <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, but like I said, I got all mud over the tyres. It was, it was flinging in my face. It's freezing cold, so it's not like it's not like a nice time to be doing a, a, a bike test. But if you want to see me do a speed test on a hill climb, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll see it next time, and then you'll see me do the speed test on your testing out. Like I said, this is a 72 volt, 72 volt battery, and it's got a 60 amp BMS. Uh, I bought it off AliExpress and I thought it might be a bit bogus, but it seems to be doing what it's supposed to be doing. So anyway, I'm gonna bring you in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on here, exactly what I've got here. Uh, I put one of these uh, sort of mud hugger things in the back of there. So that's, I'm not getting any mud on me coming up from the back, so that's pretty good. But in the front here, look, obviously, uh, there's nothing here at the moment. So it's, it's just flinging up. Look under there, look, it's all, I've only been up for a little bit, there's mud flying up everywhere. This, this battery sort of saved my face from getting covered in mud. But I've put it up, I've put it up on there, look, like that. I'll be coming down a bit lower. You can see the things under there. I can take the battery off there, look, and the wire's coming down, but they straight into the motor. So um, is mud getting flung over here as well. But anyway, don't worry about that. But uh, this is the bike as it stands at the moment. Like I said, with a 72 volt battery and this motor by here, which is fantastic. The, the, only the little, little test I've done so far, um, everything is working perfectly. Uh, I got you know got plenty of the gear, gears to play with. I can got the biggest of hills on there. Um, the only thing is I haven't. I don't think the. If you look here, look, this little thing here. That's the speedometer on this sensor here. Uh, I haven't tidied everything up yet, but I don't think it's reading right. But I have got an app. Um, there's an app that comes with this motor as well, and. I'll put the app up by here somewhere now, so you can see. And the app connects to that motor, well not to the motor, it connects to the controller. The controller's down there. Um, it connects to that controller and uh, you can change the parameters, you can change the parameters of the throttle, you can change the sort of speeds of the, the speeds of the, uh, let me just show you, I'll turn this on you. Put that on there, let me just turn it on. I had, to, I had to order the 72 volt display because the other displays are 52 volts. I wanted to go 72 volts. But anyway, so I ordered that display. It's got zero to five settings. And I'll tell you something now. On number two setting, it's similar to the Bafang motor I had. So on the number two setting, it's similar to the one and a half thousand watts Bafang motor I had. I've still got another, if you go up, look, you've got five settings all together but on number two it was like my Bafang motor the Bafang BB SHD is it uh, with a normal controller in it so it is it's very powerful for, for a you know for a push bike for a normal bike it's pretty powerful so there you got your you got your time on the speed which I don't think is right and that shows your watts and I was peeking at that <laughs> I had a quick peek and it did go up to something like three and a half thousand watts. Like I said, shh, don't tell anybody. Because I got a 250 watt sticker. <laughs> uh, they sent me a 250 watt sticker to go on here. I haven't put it on yet. Oh, and I haven't changed. If, you, if you've seen the last um, video on there, this has got a crack in it. But they've, CYC sent me a new one straight away. Went, so that's, that's pretty good. So there's the bike as it stands. So anyway, let me put the camera back on the stand a minute. Right, okay then, so there you go. That is the bike as it stands. Like I said, I will be going out. I will be doing a speed test. Uh, you know, put in the comments how, think, how fast you think this would go. 
with a Bafang motor and it'll be one of the lower gears, 72 volt battery, fully charged and with a 60 volt, a 60 amp BMS. How fast do you reckon it'll go? <laughs> I don't know. I reckon it'll go, uh, I say, I, I won't make a guess, you make a guess. Anyway, so there it is. This is how it stands at the moment. I will be going to do a speed test like I just said just now on a hell test. I'll try all the tests I can do, okay, right? Um, and um, I will get a front mud guard so I don't get mud in the face, which would, you know, that'll help, won't it? And I'll try and do a good video and see how it goes from there. So if you want to come back and look for more tests, like I said, hit the little subscribe button, even hit the notification bell, or give this, you know, give this video a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Hoo-hoo!